Here's one thing you need to know about Gong before going to see it. Do not go see this movie as a movie date. Because if you guys do, you guys will start questioning the relationship after the movie because the movie just deals on marriage and you just guys are going to be thinking, are they going to try to kill me just because I didn't do what they wanted me to do? And you're going to be like, oh, hell no, I ain't going to be in a relationship at all. Gone Girl. So Gone Girl is a new David Fincher film that stars Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike and it's based on a book. I did not read the book because why would you do that? I was really looking forward to this film because the premise was interesting and I really like David Fincher from what I've seen from his work. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't seen all of David Fincher's films. I've only seen The Social Network, Zodiac, and Fight Club. Those are the only three movies that I've seen from his. But let me tell you, from those three films, I can tell you he's a fantastic filmmaker from just those three films. Let me tell you this right now. This perfectly describes how the film is. This is one fucked up movie. It's going to fuck with your head while you're watching the movie and after you leave the theater and your head's just going to start rambling like, oh crap, and if you're married, you're going to start seeing your significant other and you're going to be like, is he going to try to kill me? Gone Girl is a phenomenal film filled with fantastic performances and a great, great tutorial job from David Fincher. The film was well directed. Well shot, and it's very, very well edited. That's the thing that I noticed from David Fincher's films. They are always edited great. The film, how it's pieced together, is great. And the performances in this film is amazing. Let's talk about Ben Affleck. He was great in this movie. And if you're still one of those people who thinks he's not going to do a good job as Batman, watch Gone Girl, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, he's actually a good actor. Do I think he's going to get an Oscar for this film? I don't think so because there's still a lot more films to come out. And this is not, you know, a huge Oscar-worthy performance that he's given. But that's not to say that he gave a terrible performance. He gave a great performance. He was awesome in this movie. And here's a lot of the things that people who don't believe in Ben Affleck say. They always see Ben Affleck in his characters and his movies. They don't see the character, they just see Ben Affleck. Well, let me tell you something right now. When you watch this movie, you don't see Ben Affleck. You see Nick Dunn, and you're like, oh, yeah, Ben Affleck, you're going to kick ass as Batman. But without a doubt, the one who stole the show in this movie was Rosamund Pike. She was awesome in this film. Let me tell you this right now. Without a doubt, she gives an Oscar-worthy performance, and without a doubt, she is going to get nominated for an Oscar because she kills it in this movie. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't been amazed by Rosamund Pike. I've only seen her in a couple of movies. I mean, I've seen her in Jack Reacher and The World's End, and I'm just like, okay, she's just there. Now I've seen her in this movie, I'm like, oh my god. She's got to get more movie roles because she owns this role in this film. Ben Affleck is great. He's definitely one of the standouts in this movie, but Rosamund Pike is the standout in this film. And one of the things that I love this film is that it has a strange cast. I mean, you have Tyler Perry and Neil Patrick Harris. First off, Tyler Perry, he was good in this movie. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not that big of a Tyler Perry fan. He was really good in this movie. He was actually funny in the movie too. One of the things that surprised me about this film was that it was very funny. It's not a comedy, but there are some dark comedic moments in this film that remind me of like The Wolf of Wall Street. Dark, sadistic comedy that when you watch it, you're like, my God, that is so sadistic, but it's so funny. And the film has great tension. I mean, there was points in the theater where I was grabbing at the edge of my seat because I was like, oh crap, this is getting suspenseful as hell. Gone Girl is a well-directed film, well shot, well edited, great performance, an Oscar-worthy performance from Rosamund Pike, great dark sadistic comedy into it, great tension, very suspenseful. My only complaint about the film, I didn't like the ending that much. It's not one of those endings where I'm like, man, what the hell was that? You just left wanting more, you're like, I didn't get enough out of that. But with all that said, Gone Girl is one of the best films of 2014. It is one of my favorite movies of 2014, without a doubt. I really love this movie. It's great. I'm going to give Gone Girl an A. I think it's a really great film. If you're a fan of David Fincher, if you're a film fan, and you want to see if Ben Affleck can carry a film and he's going to be good as Batman, watch this movie. But also not just those scenes, because this movie is a really good movie and you guys should watch this movie. My only complaint about the film was the ending was not that satisfying, you know, you kind of left wanting more, but it didn't bring the film to a halt, it didn't bring the film down by a lot. The film is still really, really good. Highly, highly recommend you guys checking out this film. So guys, that's my review for Gone Girl. Thank you so much for watching my video and have a nice day.